What's going on guys? My name is Christopher and welcome to It's Complicated. It is a show where I talk about and showcase wristwatches. So if you're into wristwatches like I am, you're definitely going to want to hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm going to be breaking down a tiny, tiny little problem I found with this wristwatch, the Rolex Batman. Here we go. So there she is, it's my Rolex GMT Master II, and this was absolutely bucket list material. I've already showcased the watch, but you know, I found something wrong with the watch, and this watch is actually getting sent back to where I purchased it from, which is Bob's Watches. Now, when you buy something like this, you just keep looking at it. Looking at it, looking at it, looking at it. If I'm laying on the couch, Watching something on TV, I'll often take it off and just check it out. Just check out everything. Look at the sides. Look at the back. Look at everything. And then I do one of these. And uh, you see that? Something's wrong there. It's crooked. And I'm just sitting there and I'm looking at it. And I'm like, it's crooked. Why is it crooked? And I just couldn't figure it out. I'm looking. I'm looking. I do one of these. Extend it a little bit. I'm like, what is going on? Why is this thing crooked? Look at it this way, right? It's still, it's crooked. And, and I just couldn't figure out why. I'd plug it back in, look at it again, crooked. What is going on here? So I'm looking at links, I'm looking at everything. And then I pop this out and I'm looking and I'm looking and I see it. I see it. You see that? It's cracked. That link is actually cracked. I just, I just couldn't believe it. And I'm staring at it and I'm like, how did it get cracked? It was like this when I purchased it. Now I know why it's crooked. I get it. So what I did was I did call Bob's watches and, uh, they said, just send it in. We're going to replace that link and we're going to send it right back to you. So how cool is that? I definitely wanted to make this video. You're going to see how it is when I get it back. We're going to use the magic of video editing and we will move forward in time and you will see what it looks like when I get the watch back. All right. So I did get the watch back and here it is. I did make sure the serial number is the same because, you know, I put those papers away. They just got the watch back. They didn't get the box or the papers or anything. So I did double check the serial number. Everything's good there. And I know it was a silly thing to do, but you know, I don't know. You put those papers away. You want to make sure the watch matches the papers. That does increase the value quite a bit, doesn't it? You're talking close to 400 bucks, I would argue. Anyway, the bracelet did have the same wear and stuff. Uh, when I did get the watch back, it didn't have this much wear. I haven't filmed it in a little while here. Um, but they literally just changed that one link on the bracelet, and that makes a lot of sense. I haven't really heard anything bad about Bob's watches, and this basically kind of helps prove that point. I mean, I told them what happened, and there was no arguing. There it is, and it's right back to being straight. Now, that was a little over a week after I got that watch. I didn't notice it right away, although I certainly should have. And as far as they're concerned, I mean, they really could have just said, well, you cracked it too bad. Good luck. I did get a quote on that link. I don't know if I said that in a prior video, but I did get a quote. It was 65 and it would have been 65 plus tax. So not bad, or maybe it was 68, something like that. Um, but I think it just makes sense from Bob's watches kind of thing. If they sold you something that had an issue or sold you something that had a flaw, it would really kind of hurt them if they just didn't take care of it. And you know, you're talking, this is just about a week later, they fixed it and you can pop it out and it's right back to uh, being good. No more crack there. So what an absolute amazing timepiece, in my opinion. I know there's a lot of you probably thinking, you know, you got that, you went ahead and you got that two-tone Submariner, so what are you doing with this one? How is this all of a sudden bucket list? You know, when I got that two-tone Submariner, this one was worth more. Now they're worth even. 
So you could argue I lost a little money getting this, but not really. That two-tone Submariner now is worth well over $17,000. So I made some money there and you gotta love that one. You gotta love making some cash. And you know, if the market tanks, yeah, I'd lose on this GMT Master too, but that's just, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. If this thing keeps going up in value, um, you could argue it goes up more than the two-tone, or maybe it goes up the same, who knows, doesn't matter. This is the one I think I've really always wanted. Anyway, I'm rambling here, but going back to this, yeah, check it out. I mean, they really fixed it. It's right back where it's supposed to be. I do worry with that cracked link though. Isn't there some kind of fear that with the online dealers, they're not really using the Rolex parts on the bracelet? I mean, if you're not buying these straight from Rolex, there's really no way to know about those links, in my opinion. I know there's a lot of, well, you gotta check this, check that, but unless you have some kind of tool or potion or whatever it is to actually check that exact type of steel, I don't know if there's really anything you can do about it. Definitely starting to ramble here, but there it is. Once again, it's right back to normal, repaired for free. Basically, I saved, what, 60 bucks, 68 bucks, something like that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to have it back exactly how it's supposed to be. What a great piece this is. And that's just about going to wrap it up. Although, you got to give credit where credit's due. I forgot to mention to you guys that Bob's watch is paid for the shipping there and the shipping back to me. So not only did they pay to just fix the watch, the shipping was covered too. I had to pay zero, not even a penny, to get this watch shipped to them, have them fix that link or replace the link, we should say, and send it back to me. So good looking out there. And when you get a watch, if it's been pre-owned, if it is pre-owned, we should say, you really have to look at that watch all over and check it out if you're into collecting the watches somebody might have worn this one for a long time and then looked at it and go well guess what i broke it and then you're out the tiny little bit of money but you're still out the money and maybe it wasn't your fault because this wasn't my fault and if somebody wouldn't have looked at that link for a year and they would have found out they would have taken the blame for it maybe it stresses them out about wearing the timepiece maybe they think that if you wear it it's going to crack whatever and I think you guys all know that's not really the case. So who knows what happened with this? That's kind of the risk you have in buying pre-owned and that's why you really gotta check out the whole business of that watch when you buy something pre-owned. And that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of It's Complicated. Don't forget to check out some of the other videos I've done on this channel and not all of them are about Rolex. So if you're just into watches, go ahead and dig around a bit. I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time on another episode of It's Complicated.